Let's look at the ankle joint. All right, so we know we have running, so we have the speed of 2.79 meters per second. We know it's the position graph, so we have position in degrees, and we have percent of cycle from foot contact to the following foot contact, and we know that from 0 to 40 percent is the stance phase, and from 40 to 60 percent is the swing phase. Positive degrees are the joint going into dorsiflexion, negative degrees are plantar flexion. So again, remember, if we start off at um, point one, we're slightly dorsiflexed. And from point one to point two, we are moving into dorsiflexion. Okay? We're moving into dorsiflexion from two to four, we are plantar flexing, and from four to five, we are dorsiflexing. So where would the points of zero velocity be? It could be point one, most definitely point two, point four, and point five. The greatest plantar flexion velocity would be somewhere around point three. And the greatest dorsiflexion velocity would probably be somewhere around 70% of the cycle here. So we have, let's see what, what percentage that plantar flexion velocity, the peak was around 30%. We can see we have this big peak of plantar flexion or negative velocities around 30%. Somewhere around 60 to 70% we have a peak of dorsiflexion velocity. We can look at everything lined up. So zero velocity occurs here at 20%, and that's point two where we change directions. Here at 45% where we change directions and then again at five. All right, so at this point you need to kind of identify the, the shape of the curve, what is happening with the curve. Say, so could you go through a slow motion video of somebody running and say, okay, during the stance phase I see them dorsiflexing, plantar flexing, and then dorsiflexing during the swing phase. All right.